हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन कार्डियक पेसमेकर्स एंड डीफिब्रिलेटर्स दिस इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इन कार्डियोवास्कुलर सिस्टम और सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम नाउ लेट अस सी फर्स्ट व्हाट इज़ द पर्पस ऑफ यूजिंग दिस पेसमेकर्स एंड डीफिब्रिलेटर्स इफ यू वुड हैव अटेंडर द क्लासेज ऑन कार्डियोवास्कुलर सिस्टम यू विल बी नोइंग अबाउट द कंडक्शन सिस्टम ऑफ द हार्ट and if you want to know that in detail you can watch my previous video on cardiovascular system so heart has got its own conduction system which is making the heart contract and relax and making a heart beat and this conduction system starts with the sa node which is called as the natural pacemaker of the heart that is the one which is initiating the electrical impulses and if there is some problem anywhere in the part of this conduction system that can lead to a problem called as arrhythmia or dysrhythmia arrhythmia and dysrhythmia are almost the same when the heart is beating abnormally and when there is a lack of rhythm in the heart beat it is said to be arrhythmia or dysrhythmia and in this situation we have to make the heart beat normally and for such diseases or conditions we use pacemakers and defibrillators as a mode of treatment pacemakers and defibrillators are some external devices which are fitted to the human body and that will make the heart beat normally at a particular rhythm so now let us see about the pacemaker first pacemaker is a device which is attached to the human body to make the heart beat normally or to give the normal rhythm to the heart and this pacemaker is sending continuous electrical impulses to the heart and makes the heart beat regularly so that is the function of pacemaker it is sending continuous impulses to the heart but defibrillator it is a device which consists of some uh, battery and also some computed automated systems will be there that will identify whenever the heart is beating abnormally this defibrillator will send a, a quick electric shock and make the heart beat normally so that is a function of defibrillator so in this way pacemaker and defibrillator are different pacemaker is sending continuous electrical impulses and defibrillator is sending impulses only when the heart is beating abnormally and in our cpt book you can see all the explanation about both pacemakers and defibrillator first we will see about pacemaker a pacemaker system with lead or leads it includes a pulse generator containing electronics a battery and one or more leads so now let us see one by one what these things are a lead means it consists of one or more electrodes as well as conductor wires insulation and a fixation mechanism and pulse generator is nothing but a battery which is being placed below the skin within a subcutaneous pocket that is created either in subclavicular site or just above the abdominal muscles below the rib cage so this is the common location where they place the pacemaker pulse generator it's placed usually below the collarbone or just below the rib cage in the abdominal muscle region next we will see about how the leads are placed leads may be inserted through a vein and that method is called as transvenous or they can be directly placed on the surface of the heart with epicardial placement epicardial means on the surface of the heart directly they will place the lead and if we do this epicardial placement we have to do a thoracotomy procedure that means we have to cut open the chest expose the heart and we have to place the lead over the surface of the heart so that is how it is done and now let us see about the different types of pacemakers that are placed uh, the types of pacemakers are single chamber or single lead pacemaker second one is dual chamber or dual lead pacemaker and the third one is called multiple lead or multiple chamber pacemaker so here from the words itself you can understand single lead or single chamber that means the lead of the pacemaker will be placed on one chamber of the heart 
and if it is a dual lead there will be two leads and that will be placed on two chambers of the heart and if it is a multiple lead or a multiple chamber pacemaker the leads will be placed in all the four chambers of the heart or three chambers of the heart and also there is one more type of pacemaker which is called as leadless pacemaker there won't be any lead and the pacemaker electrode will be directly placed on the heart without a lead so that is the other type of pacemaker so these are the different types of pacemakers and whenever you are coding for pacemaker you have to check how many leads does it have and how it is placed whether it is a transvenous placement or epicardial placement and where the pulse generator is placed is, is it below the collarbone or below the rib cage so all these things we have to check whenever we are reporting this uh, cpt codes for the pacemaker and apart from that there are some services which are considered as included services in pacemaker for example right heart catheterization procedures when right heart catheterization is done in addition to leadless pacemaker insertion you don't have to report right heart catheterization procedures separately because it will be considered as an included procedure whenever a leadless pacemaker is inserted but if right heart catheterization is done for other purposes which are not related to leadless pacemaker insertion then you can report right heart catheterization procedure codes from medicine chapter with separate codes and after that now we are going to see about the defibrillators there are different types of defibrillators which are inserted inside the human body and their names are transvenous implantable pacing cardioverter defibrillator which can also be called as icd and subcutaneous implantable defibrillator which can also be called as sicd and substernal implantable cardioverter defibrillator these are the different types of defibrillators that are available now in the market and as i told you before this defibrillators will be sending electrical shock or impulses only when the heart is beating abnormally that means when arrhythmia or dysrhythmia is happening that time implantable defibrillators will send the electrical impulse and take the control over the heart and same like a pacemaker defibrillator also contains a pulse generator lead so now how we will be placing it inside the body first this pulse generator will be usually placed below the below the skin usually it is placed under the clavicle or the collarbone or it is placed in the axilla region axilla means in the armpit region and also in the abdominal pocket so here also we create a subcutaneous pocket and within that only we place it and if this pulse generator is like removed we don't need any uh, thoracotomy or laparotomy procedure to remove the pulse generator because as it is just done in the skin through a skin pocket we don't have to do any thoracotomy or laparotomy procedure to remove it and then about the electrodes or the leads same like pacemaker the leads are placed by transvenous approach or by epicardial placement and also it can be placed under the skin overlying the heart like a subcutaneous placement so these are the common methods which we use for placing the electrodes or leads of the defibrillator now we will see about some important guidelines regarding both pacemaker and defibrillator uh, when they say that the battery is changed battery means it's nothing but the pulse generator so we have to report it separately if the battery is changed so that is given in our book also when the battery of pacemaker system with the leads or implantable defibrillator is changed it is actually the pulse generator it is changed removal of only the pacemaker or implantable defibrillator pulse generator is reported with 33233 or 33241 and also in addition to this sometimes they do some procedures like revision of skin pocket or relocation of skin pocket so what are the guidelines that is given in the book if a revision of skin pocket is done it is included in the procedure of a uh, pacemaker or defibrillator we don't have to report it separately revision means sometimes they will do some minor changes or minor treatment in relation to the subcutaneous pocket but if that site is infected or there is a hematoma hematoma means there is some blood collection if something is there in addition to revision and if the doctor is doing a procedure called ind ind means incision and drainage if that is done we have to report a separate code from the skin chapter because it is done in the skin pocket you have to report it with one series of codes
but if relocation of skin pocket is done that means they are changing the skin pocket uh, they are like uh, removing the pacemaker from one area and placing it in another area they are changing the skin pocket means we have to always report it with a separate set of codes so these are the guidelines regarding revision and relocation and apart from that there are some other services like device evaluation uh, like when we are fixing this pacemaker or defibrillator we have to examine the device when we are fitting it we have to check it how it's working how it's functioning and all those things so if that is done we don't have to report the separate codes for them because it is considered as an included procedure when we are doing insertion of a lead or a pulse generator or revision procedures are also done it is considered as included and also if a leadless pacemaker is inserted and device evaluation is done in addition to insertion or removal we don't have to report it separately so all these things are considered as included services in pacemaker and defibrillator and apart from that sometimes they use imaging guidance procedures to help them place this leads of the pacemaker and defibrillator for that also we have some guidelines that is given in the last paragraph radiological supervision and interpretation in relation to pacemaker or defibrillator procedure is included in all the procedure codes from 33206 till 33275 and also you can see another sentence stating that fluoroscopy and ultrasound guidance for vascular access or right ventriculography and femoral venography are also included in the codes 33274 and 275 and lastly one more guideline is there to report fluoroscopic guidance for diagnostic lead evaluation without lead insertion replacement or revision procedures then you have to use a separate code 7600 that means if they are evaluating the lead using a fluoroscopy you have to report the code 7600 separately if the procedure is done without any insertion removal or replacement of leads so these are the things that are included and excluded in defibrillator and pacemaker and also in our book there is a big table and with the help of that table we can easily identify the codes for the procedures of insertion removal and replacement of pacemaker lead pulse generator and everything you can check that table now i'm reading certain procedures under this table insertion of transvenous single lead only without pulse generator if it is for a pacemaker you have to report 33216 and if it is for a defibrillator also you have to report 33216 uh, as it is one lead lead and it is done without the pulse generator you have to report the codes 33216 for both pacemaker and defibrillator as well now i'll read one more thing uh, i'm reading actually the fifth uh, line in this tablet column initial pulse generator insertion only with existing single lead it includes transvenous or subcutaneous defibrillator lead and if it is a pacemaker and if it is just the initial placement of pulse generator you have to report 33212 and if it is a defibrillator you have to report 33240 so like this you can easily use this table and identify the codes for a particular procedure if it is a pacemaker or a defibrillator you can identify the codes from here so all the pictures i'm sharing here you can check all the procedures that are given in the table so i think with all these information you can easily code for this procedures pacemaker and defibrillator thank you